India is organizing the 10th Asia Pacific Remote Sensing Symposium. Uh, this symposium is one of the series uh, which is organized by the International Society for Optics and Photonics. It is a USA based uh, non-governmental organization which has instrumentation and optics engineers all over the world. Uh, the APRS is being organized in India for the second time. Uh, in 2006 it was organized in Goa and this year we are organizing in New Delhi. The local host of this symposium is Indian Society of Remote Sensing. The Indian Society of Remote Sensing uh, has 4,500 remote sensing professionals in the country and was established in 1969 and has headquarters at Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, Dehradun. The symposium uh, program comprises of four tutorials and seven conferences. The seven conferences which are being organized are remote sensing of the atmosphere, clouds and precipitation, land surface and cryosphere remote sensing, remote sensing of the ocean and inland waters, techniques, applications and challenges, lidar remote sensing for environment monitoring, multispectral hyper spectral and ultraspectral remote sensing technology, techniques and applications, earth observation, missions and sensors, development, implementation and characterization. We also had two days of four tutorials uh, which covered trends and challenges in remote sensing and geoinformatics, satellite meteorology and data assimilation, designing the climate observing system of the future and remote sensing optical sensors, calibration and characterization. While there were about 65 uh, participants to the tutorial, there are around 450 plus registered participants. Of them, about 125 participants are from abroad. A highlight of this APRS was the day one plenary, which was an event uh, where the chiefs of the space agencies or their representatives participated. Uh, these included NASA, uh, Charles F. Bolden, the administrator participated, the CNES, the French space agency, Sean Yves Gligal participated. Uh, the JAXA was represented by the vice president. We also had the chairman ISRO participating and uh, we had the deputy administrator Yan Hua Wu from the uh, Chinese National Space Agency, CNSA. The UMATSAT was also uh, represented by the Director General, Alan Reitier. Uh, in addition to uh, these space agency chiefs, the head of the Mexico Space Agency also participated. While the leaders of the space agencies, they presented their vision for the next challenges for earth observation and even planetary exploration. There was a moderated session uh, with Dr. Shalesh Nayak, currently the president of ISRS and also the past secretary Ministry of Earth Sciences uh, moderating the session. Prior to the plenary, uh, the plenary happened on 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th we are having the symposium. Second and third, we had the tutorial. On third, uh, all using this opportunity for all the space agency chiefs being present, there was an event which was co-hosted by ISRO and CNES, where more than 10 space agency chiefs and their uh, representatives of heads participated. And then they reiterated the collaborative working for meeting the goals arising of the COP21. Uh, observations for climate change and space observations, not only for combating the climate change, monitoring the Earth's environment, but also to look uh, at ensuring whether the policies uh, which are as a consequence of COP21 have to be uh, imposed, whether the implementation of policies can also be uh, monitored through space. Uh, in all, 
uh, the symposium provides an excellent opportunity for uh, working towards the next challenges and next uh, developments and also to the Indian participants from ISR society members as well as others. It gives a unique opportunity to deal uh, with and uh, personally discuss their work with some of the best minds in the area of remote sensing. Thank you.